Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Modblog episode with me, FS Swami Our Dog. So first of all, I'd just like to apologise for the lack of videos uh, in the past week. Um, work has just been really busy and um, I'd love to have time to uh, do more videos, but unfortunately last week I didn't. But nonetheless, here I am with a couple of new mods to the game. So I'll have a look in the shop first and then we'll have a look round. So the first mod is a Pottering Mex 6 Big. Um, it'll cost £48,000 to buy, £50 to maintain daily, and has a required horsepower of 180 to run. It has a working width of 2 meters or 1. So basically, this is a forage harvester that fits onto the front or back PTO of a tractor. And to go with this, uh, from a completely different modder and website, I have found a Venus silage trailer. So it is the Venus W400, it'll cost £24,500 to buy, £22 to maintain daily, and has a capacity of 36,300 litres. Um, it accepts chaff and grass uh, from the forage harvester or from a front loader. So here they are, straight away. Um, we will have a look at the pottering forage harvester first, and then we'll have a look at the trailer. So first impressions, um, some very skillful modelling has gone into the front uh, blades here. Um, looks really nice, I like how they've used the updated uh, FS15 textures, and uh, we've got all the individual components and bolts modelled, uh, three sets of PTO. Um, it looks as if you could move this uh, loading pipe to the different PTO, but from using this uh, off screen I don't think that is a available option. But it does work very well and it looks really nice. So one thing to bear in mind is you can clip up to here um, through the model and same on the other side. Um, which is just something to bear in mind, but um, if you're using this on tight small maps, it may not be the bad thing, so that when you're using this, you don't get caught on every tree or signpost. So it might be uh, might be a good thing, but um, I don't think it detracts from the model model at all. So moving on to the size trailer, um, we've got a very nice trailer uh, looking. It looks really good. They've used some nice textures and um, we've got high resolution textures uh, such as these warning symbols here look really good and we've got some nice details uh, like these cables and the official branding and markings um, so it doesn't have a lot of clip around the side here as you can see I do believe there is a minimal clip on the front side here Uh, just a small amount here, I mean you can just get in there, but nothing too bad to row a boat. As well as that, you can walk through the back here. Um, I do believe the modeler would have done that, uh, just so you can unload it um, properly. You can only clip, it's only one small section, so uh, nothing, too, nothing too major, quite minimal clip. So a really nice looking model, aesthetically, and doesn't have a lot of clip. So, the forage harvester hooks up really nicely to both front and back attacher, uh, PTO, everything's in the correct place, and it looks really nice. Same with the trailer, um, we have a little hydraulic jack, uh, jack motion there, it just comes down on the left hand side. So I'll just drive it down to this field, um, I have modified this field uh, just to make it a little bit smaller so that we can test the hide worker um, turnaround features with other mods as well. Now I'm not entirely sure if this mod supports a hide worker, but it is V2 lower and O2 unpipe. So we've got a, a really nice animation there, all the hydraulics are working, 
and it has recognised the silage trailer and B to turn on. So as you can see, uh, when you turn on, um, we've got a nice motion. Uh, all the individual collectors and spindles are moving. So as you can see, again, a really nice animation uh, as the corn gets sucked in to the forage harvester. And again, we've got a nice filling animation going into the back of the trailer there. So uh, a really useful mod, uh, in my opinion. Um, it does accept corn and grass, as you can see. Um, you are able to harvest the grass. And again, we've got a really nice animation to the harvester. So you are unable to harvest any other crop uh, other than corn and grass. So it's really good for starting your silage on small maps. Uh, and it does get the job done nice and quickly and it looks really nice. So I would definitely recommend downloading this uh, if you haven't already got it. Um, the link will be in the description for this. I do believe this was off Mod Hoster. And before we go, we'll just have a look uh, in the trailer here. So, it looks like we've got a rotary conveyor belt floor and uh, the feeders on the back to dump the silage into the biogas pit. And we've got a nice uh, chaff uh, slash grass texture in here. Uh, literally nice. And um, really nice modelling on the inside here as well. A good bit of uh, mesh in there and the steel or aluminium sides uh, look really nice with all the rivets in so I do believe this one is off Mod Hub, and the link will be in the description for this a nice silage trailer for your farm uh, definitely uh, give it a download give it a test uh, it looks nice aesthetically and works really well with no log errors uh, same with this um, this harvester no log errors whatsoever looks really nice and works perfectly so i hope you have enjoyed this mod blog episode on these two mods um, thanks for all the subscriptions likes and comments and i will catch you again soon bye for now